<laughs> Miel is obsessed with this YouTube show, and since neither of us are famous enough to be on it ourselves, she's been begging me to let her recreate the show on my channel and interview me as the host. And apparently she's got it all set up in here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. Take a seat. <laughs> You know him as the co-founder of Smosh and now solo artist, Anthony Padilla. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks. How so, are you with heat? I, I feel like I, I like spicy stuff, but I'm not actually, you know, one to try anything hotter than something comfortable. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm right there with you. This will be painful for yeah. both of us. Cheers. Oh, good. Kind of good. I, I really like Sriracha. So you're one of the OG YouTubers. After 12 years of making weekly videos and then some, how do you avoid burnout? I feel like I didn't. I didn't really start having any kind of burnout until a few years in. The schedule. It, it didn't really matter. There was no expectations of what any quality should look like or anything. But now that there's expectations, I feel like it's a lot harder. Take weekends off. Uh, I get help from an editor when I can, and I feel like right now it's about finding things that I'm passionate about making, and sometimes it's uh, letting my girlfriend take control of a, of a show and you know setting everything up for me. It's great. That's me, Sean Evans. <laughs> Cholula, I love Cholula. Is that more spicy than sriracha? Technically, it's higher scoville. Tastes a lot more mellow. Now we're gonna dive into a segment we do on the show called Explain That Gram. I've gone uh, through the guest's Instagram and found some old photos that need a little more context. So I'm the guest. <laughs> I have them here and I'm gonna show them to you and you can kind of give a little more background. Does that sound good? Uh, yeah, sounds great. Awesome. I got you and PewDiePie. The coolest 90s bros ever. Yeah, I was having a 90s themed party. Felix was in town and- Was this in Sacramento? No, it was here. Oh, this was LA, okay. Yeah, it was right after I moved to LA. Did yeah. you own these shirts or did you actually go buy them? I bought them from a thrift store. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, and They're it's funny because cool. he was, he just gotten in town and he got there really late because he didn't want to show up without 90s clothes. So oh. he went out and bought 90s clothes and he got there super late. So wow. I felt bad. He's a little sweetie underneath He's... all of that. Can we hear your PewDiePie impression? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I don't know what to do. All right, here, we're going to do some stuff and we're going to be really edgy. <laughs> Rue likes it. Can you explain this one, please? Um, it's literally, <laughs> it's exactly what the caption says. So you've just drank an Icy mm -hmm. in a Target, it appears. It, it is a Target. And you were like, I should take a selfie. Times were very different then. When do you think this was? Uh, 2012. 13. That was, was 2013. Only, you were 26 in this photo. Oh my God. I look at that and I'm like, okay, that's it's just 20 year old not knowing what to do you with life. You were two years younger here than I am now. I'm, I don't know what to say. Oh, okay. Oh, it is a, that's a jump. That's a kick. Not a big one. Oh, that's good. But it's there. It's good, but oh man. It's like a kick with a wood-heeled boot. Oh yeah, oh boy. If that's already that, <laughs> it was already that spicy. We're only a third in. Wow. So you really rode the wave of sketch comedy on YouTube, along with groups like Derek Comedy, Lonely Island, and um, Good Neighbor. They've all moved on to traditional media. So would you say that at this point, it's safe to say that sketch comedy is effectively dead on YouTube? I feel like there's still a, a place for it, but I feel like it's a very, very niche market now. I feel like most people now just want to be entertained and they don't care in what form. And the thing about sketch comedy is it's so taxing. You kind of, you need a team, you need someone to help you shoot it, you're, you're writing it you're editing it. People are wanting to get on YouTube and watch that same person that they like every day. It just becomes part of the routine and that can't happen with sketch comedy because there's just, there's no capacity mm. in anyone's brain to create that much content and have it be good. Because that's another thing is people really want to feel connected to the person they're watching. In sketch comedy, there's just, there's a barrier there. Yeah. I don't know if I'm immune or if it's just gonna hit me later, but I didn't feel that. Mm, it's a good sign. It tastes good though. YouTube fans are kind of a different breed than like a traditional celebrity fan might be. Right, right. There's a sense of intimacy and familiarity mm -hmm. because of the medium. And so I wanted to ask, 
Have you had any close calls with fans that maybe didn't recognize those boundaries? The scariest thing for me, I logged into Twitter one night and someone had posted a photo of me through my bedroom blinds into my room and I was on my bed playing my DS or something. Wow. And they said, hint, I was drunk and I am your friend. And I was like, what? So cryptic. Yeah. I was like, did, did one of my friends take this photo of me and then try to like creep me out with it? But I asked every single one of my friends and everyone was like, what? Like everyone Whoa. was so genuinely freaked out by it. I was like, okay, no one. Did you ever find out? No. It I, was the creepiest. Maybe it was like thing. jigsaw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I could have been masturbating there. Like I could have been. Yeah. I mean, that's I, one place. I could have, I could have been naked. I could have been anything. And they're just taking photos of me through my pants. Yeah. It's like some black mirror shit. Yeah. That was creepy. Yeah. I'm still scared by that. Small bites are going to be key here. Oh boy. Oh, okay. that heats up quick. I was licking my finger before this. I think it's time for me to wipe that off on my uh, I don't know how I'm going to keep interviewing. Oh. Okay. okay. It's not, it's like not terrible, but I feel it. You know what I mean? I would say this is bearable, but uncomfortable. Exactly. From here exactly. forward, I think this is going to be actually That's, unbearable. Oh my God. I was just having a good interview up until this point, And now I'm realizing that there's this other element here. There's about to be hell to pay. Oh, I'm already salivating. Tomorrow morning there will be. Oh boy. More hell to pay. Okay. Well, you gave me a great segue. You mentioned your DS. <sighs> You've been a long-term gamer. You even have a DS framed and signed by Miyamoto himself. Yeah. But you have definitely avoided the brand of a, of a gamer in both your social media and your, your video content. And I'm wondering, was that a deliberate choice for you? I mean, no, I feel like it was mostly just because I always felt like I was a gamer at heart. It was one of the things that I did for fun for almost my entire childhood. But I was never a gamer in the sense that I was really good at games, which oh. I feel like a lot of people kind of, they associate a gamer with being really good. I just like to play games and I like to have fun playing them. I was never about being good at playing them. But you are good at playing them. Some of them, yeah. I've never seen you be bad at a game. Uh, the only game I can beat you at is Mario Kart 64. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I feel like it's just practice. I feel like you just played it so much. Maybe I'm also a gamer. <laughs> Gamer. <laughs> Gamer girl, Sean Evans. Hey, it's not my interview. Oh. Mm, that was a really good flavor up front. The flavor up front is so deceiving for how hot it gets. I want to lick my fingers, but I know it's a bad choice. I'm going to try not to puke okay. in my own interview. You were a fast food junkie yeah. for all of your life yeah. until you went vegan a few years ago, mm -hmm. which you still are. These are vegan wings, soy yeah. milk. Mm -hmm. How was that transition for you? And even now, are there foods that you just miss dearly. It was really hard at first because I was mostly doing it for health reasons at first. So I was like, oh, but it's just like, who cares? It's just like, if I eat a little bit, who cares? And Made a lot of exceptions. Yeah, I was making exceptions all the time uh, in that like the first year. And for a long time, I really missed the, the flavor and texture of cheese, but mm -hmm. that's evolved so much just in the past few years, even since I've been vegan. What's your favorite vegan cheese? <sighs> Chow, follow your heart. There's this one the one that we had recently, actually, on that pizza in Portland. Oh, Violife. Bio Life. Bio Life. That was really good. It's not my interview, <laughs> but I agree. Well, thanks, Sean. Oh, I'm burning my fingers where I touched it. I'm sweating now, okay. I need a little water. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna make my fingers stop burning. Okay, I'm good now. Okay, part of Posting videos and being online for 12 years means that you have a physical public record of anything you thought was funny and any belief you may have had. And my question is, is there anything you look back on and regret over these last 12 years? Oh God, there's so many things I regret. Like what? <sighs> Posting every little detail of my past relationships, only showing the good sides of those relationships so people think, that it was like, they knew the relationship, but they didn't. Using the word gay as just a synonym for uh, something you didn't like. I just didn't know any better. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> are you gonna be okay? We got two more. How much of it are you gonna eat? The smallest amount humanly possible. How much should I eat? Half? The smallest amount humanly possible. You only possible. got to eat half? I mean, listen, 
you don't have anything to prove here. This is a fun interview. This is my channel. I feel like I need to prove myself. Hey, buddy. You're worth everything you just get. I kind of blew that compliment. Uh, what? That didn't make any sense. My mouth's really hot. Cheers. Oh, there's so much sauce on this one, too. It's not bad yet. Ow, 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 ow. You're gonna need to ask that question. <laughs> You're gonna need to ask that question. Hey, B. Remiss. <coughs> if I didn't ask about your experience acting alongside T Pain in your movie Ghostmates, what's he like, man? He's the best person in the world. God, he was so fun to work with. Really? Yeah. He was crappy jokes the whole time. He knew the script from the back. <sighs> he knew the script <laughs> front to back. He brought so much. We had him up in a harness for like hours. And he did a really good job. It's just happening. Everything's happening. I'm literally crying. Um, the soy milk doesn't help. I don't think it has the same properties as real milk. I made a mistake. I'm so full of regret. I don't know why I thought this would be fun. He was juicing at the time. He was on a juice cleanse? Yeah. <laughs> so he's up in his harness, and he realized he's a bathroom a lot. So we had to keep lowering him. Between Probably had a pee lock, he's juicing. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh, that felt like puke. Oh, fuck, I don't know about you that last one. You can type out if you need to. I think we'll certainly skip the last dab. How much did you eat? Oh, a lot. Oh, a lot more than me. <laughs> I can't tell what's spit and what's snot on your face right now. Why the fuck is my saliva yellow? I'm Sean Evans. I'm not a hot sauce expert. I just hurt myself for my career. You're like jackass. <clears throat> yep, except I also have to have the prowess of Barbara Walters. I'll see you in hell. Not even a good flavor. It hasn't hit yet, but it's not it a hit. good flavor. What's the question? What's the... <coughs> oh, fuck me. Constant... <coughs> With the future of YouTube fairly uncertain, are there any newer YouTubers that give you hope for the future of the platform? Thomas Sanders, as a sweetheart, makes content that I feel like he just likes and connects with his fans. He's always doing things to interact with his fans. <gasps> He loves his fans, and I love that about him. Doesn't seem he doesn't do all those cheap tactics to get more views. It's so, Liza is such a sweetheart. All oh, Liza Koshi is amazing. I feel like all the people are just genuinely sweet people, and you can tell they're making stuff just because they really enjoy it. Jenna Marble, and they're making just because they want to have a connection with their audience, and they're not doing it just for the cash. A lot of good people on YouTube. You gotta find the Zen, man. Dan and Phil are such genuine people. All the people on YouTube that are just genuine and they're not doing it just because they want an extra paycheck and you can tell they're doing it just because they love it. Really give me hope. Yeah, I can't tell if you're crying because of the sauce or because it makes you emotional. <sighs> you powered through with nine wings, you made it through the Mad Dog <coughs> 357 with the bullet. It means you get to shout out whatever it is you're working on for this camera, this camera, this camera. It just means so much to me that you are subscribed and watching. And thank you for powering through this video that's a little more genuine, not my normal tongue in cheek comedy bit. And thank you so much for supporting me. <coughs> Seriously, over these 12 years, every time I meet one of you guys on the street, 
Your and, are not creeping on you. <laughs> yeah. But like it puts a face to, you know, one of the numbers because it's so easy to get caught up in numbers and not realize that these are real people that mean so much. And I, I just, I love you all. And thank you so much for supporting me. And that's all I want to say. <laughs> I think, Miel, yeah, thank you so much for doing this and taking this burden off me for, you know, really thinking of an idea this weekend. You deserve it, man. You no. work really hard. Thank you. I think we should stop now and go yeah. stick our heads in the freezer. All okay. right. For first we fused some Sean Evans. Uh, this has been hot ones. Thanks. See you later, bye guys. Press like. like. Thanks, Sean. Oh, uh, maybe someday I'll be famous enough to be on real with real Sean Evans. But I appreciate the the fake girlfriend, Sean Evans. I, um, I am the real Sean Evans. <sighs> oh God.